Take every other team. We got to prepare like we did last week and just keep getting better. We got to keep improving as a team. If you love football, if you love playing the game, then you're going to play your heart out no matter who you're playing. You know, our guys know there's only a couple more shots to play between the hedges, and the seniors especially. Get two more shots, this is it. And uh, I know for them it's going to be uh, more, become more and more meaningful as we go and uh, hope everybody plays uh, to honor those guys. I'm looking forward to our first meeting with Appalachian State Mountaineers. Uh, coach Satterfield uh, is a first year coach there and uh, is getting those guys going and uh, we're looking forward to this opportunity to play them. That win over Florida is great, you know. Uh, uh, the teams, we just gotta, we can't let it get to us. We kinda gotta put in our pass and maybe we can still be happy about it, but we gotta look forward to the next game and each game's really, we gotta, we can't take anyone lightly. We gotta just, uh, we all gotta, do our job. We got somewhere we're trying to go. We got some things we're trying to accomplish here. So, I mean, it don't matter who it is, who we playing, what day of the week it is, we just gonna go out there and prepare like it's another game. Yeah, I think it's hard when you're a freshman to realize that you only have so many opportunities to kind of play uh, in Sanford Stadium between the hedges. And uh, that's like, I mean, right there, that, that should be your motivation. As an older guy, uh, I kind of understand that. You should play it like it's the last game ever that you're going to play between the hedges and uh, just just play your heart out. I'm going to start talking a little bit about the offense. When Brett came here, our thinking was that he was going to handle the video, obviously. He was going to handle practice uh, video, game video, do all the cut-ups, have everything ready to study for our coaching staff. And that, that's kind of what I was thinking his job would be. And he's doing that, him and his staff are doing that, but uh, they do so much more. They help us with um, motivational videos. They help us with uh, even some videos that we're allowed to shoot out there to recruits. Our video staff uh, is, is really one of the best I've ever been around. Uh, they do an outstanding job day in and day out. Well, from my standpoint, uh, the, the, the breakdowns that we ask them to do, the information that we try to get, uh, those guys do a, a great job of, of having that stuff ready for us, you know, really Sunday morning for the next game, and um, it gets us ahead of the schedule. So from that standpoint, those guys are an A plus, and they do an awesome job. We have a great staff here at Georgia. They got five students and one full-time assistant, Clark Williams. And uh, students will get here uh, around two o'clock usually and uh, they'll pack up the cameras and tripods and uh, we'll give them a schedule for that day's practice. And they'll go outside and uh, make sure all the scissor lifts that we go up and shoot practice on, make sure those work. In our current field formation, we have three lifts we use. Uh, we go up, we shoot the two hours worth of practice, whatever the practice schedule uh, says, and we come down and break down while, uh, throughout practice, we're dropping constantly dropping little SD cards so that uh, our editor, Alex, can go ahead and start importing that into the system so that student assistants can go ahead and start inputting the data on the plays while practice is going on. So when the coaches come in after practice, within by the time they get done with press, they can go and watch a game or watch the practice footage and have uh, that data with the practice footage. So they can immediately start working on the next day and prepping for the opponent. Yeah, we were very fortunate this year. Our athletic association and uh, Coach Rick uh, approved us getting iPads this year. And, um, you know, it's been great. We we're one of the few teams in the, in the country that's doing it. We have our playbook um, on there, plus they can watch film. So it gives them the option to leave the facility, be able to still watch film outside of the, uh, outside of the meeting rooms, uh, being able to change stuff um, 
10 times quicker than what we used to. Now if we have to change something in the playbook, it's just a click of a button without having to print 125 more copies out on a printer and bring it down to players. Everything's more efficient. Well, I think definitely the iPads have helped. Uh, you know, technology is, is the way the world's going or has been the last few years, and we're kind of catching up right now, so to speak. And it's less paper. They like it. It can get to them immediately. Uh, you can send them films, send them notes. Uh, you know, I'll be making notes throughout the week, and I'll just hand them to a graduate assistant, and he copies it on the fax machine or scans it and sends it to the iPad. I really don't know how he does it, but they have it. When, I'm, when I walk into the meeting, They've already been over the notes, so when I'm reviewing the notes, they've already, they've already thought about them, they've read them, and if they have any questions, they're ready to ask. Where in, in the past, you know, I'm going over the notes, and you know, it's a little slower process. It just speeds up the process a little bit and uh, helps with the learning curve. Instant information to the players, meaning you can be, you know, you could be there watching practice at night and want to shoot out 10 or 15 plays to a guy and he can see those plays. Um, you can get them instant information video-wise um, uh, within you know, seconds. And it, and, it, and, it, and it can be used by them in their dorm room. It can be used wherever they are. His staff is on the cutting edge of what's going on in college football and pro football and all the, uh, uh, you know, the video needs and, and the uh, social media needs and, and any other technical needs that we have, he's there to help us.